Hi guys, this is a very short video and this is just something that um, I just want to teach on this. Um, sorry, I just got a text message, <laughs> a very important text message. It's so weird, weird how I got this text message right on doing this video. This is more like to teach, like, I just want to say like to those of you guys Listen, black magic is no joke. Black magic is very traumatizing. Black magic is a form of physical abuse, mental abuse, spiritual abuse, emotional abuse, okay? And this is not okay. And for years, for those who've been with me from the beginning when I started my channel, those of you guys, shout out to you guys. You guys have been here when I started my channel in 2017. Those who have been with me since I started my channel, they know that from the first video I posted, I have been advocating on behalf of those who are victims of this. Okay, so even if I was in into Oracle cards or Tarot cards, that does not mean that I was attacking people with black magic. Okay, there's people that get into Tarot cards and Oracle cards because they saw it as comfort. They don't need it, but they saw it as comfort. That was how I was led astray, right? And from when I started my channel, I have been advocating for people to stop attacking people with black magic because before I even started my channel, I have already been attacked with this. I talk about this in my book. I talk about this in my ebook. And almost dying from this, I was humbled. I am humbled. Okay, not was, I am humbled. Almost dying from this is what led me to start my channel and led me to start sharing with people about these things. And I am just saying to you guys watching this, like for many of you guys that come on YouTube and that pretend to know about these things, that pretend that this stuff is happening to you that is not funny and it is not worth it for clicks and views. It isn't. I've seen many people that come online and pretend that they're being attacked with black magic because they want to grow their channel or pretend they know about this stuff because they want to grow their channel or pretend that I'm attacking them with this stuff because they want clout. And I'm not going to mention any names because the Lord has already told me not to. And the Lord has already told me that many of you guys that came on YouTube and lied on me and made it seem like what I'm going through is what you're going through and that I'm doing it to you, there is serious judgment on you. Serious judgment on you. And I'm just giving you this warning to let you know that you have to go to God and repent. And that decision is up to you. But what you don't understand is you coming on YouTube and lying about these things because you want clout and views is not fair to people who are actually going through these things. This is the reason why people in society don't believe people like myself and many other people on my platform who are actually suffering from this is because selfish and greedy people like yourself like to come online and like to lie and pretend like you're going through these things because you want some clout, clicks, and views. And that's not fair and that is a mockery to those who are actually going through this because our voice is silenced when people like you like to come on here and play boy, the boy who cried wolf. It's not fair to people that are actually going, to the, going through these things. This is a serious thing and what people don't understand is black magic is like attempted murder. Black magic is harassment, okay? It's harassment. And people don't take this stuff seriously. People take this stuff for a joke. And when people say that they're going through these things, they automatically assume you have a mental illness or you're not okay or you're this or you're that. And the only way that people like myself and many others going through this will be believed is if there's physical proof. And I have to go through a lot of trouble just to get the physical evidence. A lot. But I have it all. Right? So... Those of you guys that come on here and lie and do this for clout, there's people out here who are actually going through these things and who actually have children who are going through these things. There's people right now currently in jail for doing this for me, to me and my children. 
And the fact that some of y'all come on here and play games and claim this is a joke just for clicks and views is a mockery. Is a mockery. So now I'm letting you know that you need to go to God. And it's up to you whether you want to be obedient or not. But I'm letting you know that God does not take this for a joke. And God is not okay with this. This is serious. And I don't appreciate the fact that some of y'all were using my name to try to make it seem like I was doing this while the whole time I was the one actually going through this because you wanted because you wanted clicks and views. That is not fair. That is not okay. And that is not right. And what you did was you participated and you involved yourself. And what you did was you enabled the behavior of those who are actually doing it. That's what you did right so again that repentance is between you and god but i want to share this as a teaching lesson for many people who made a mockery out of this who laughed who called people like myself and many others going through this mentally ill i just pray you guys learn from this and i just pray that you guys will change from today pertaining to things like this because it's not fair to people who are actually going through this not everybody has the resources and not everybody could have done what I did to get the physical evidence. Not everybody has that opportunity. And it's not fair to people who are silenced, people who are suffering behind the scenes, who are going through this and no one believes them. It's not fair to them when y'all come on here and make mockery out of it and laugh about it and pretend it's happening to you because you want, you want to grow your channel or you want some type of fame. It's not fair. Okay, so I hope people learn from this. And for those of you guys that's been with me since I started my channel, that you guys remember that I've been advocating for people who are going through this. I thank you guys for being here and I thank you guys for being real witnesses and not false witnesses. And I thank you guys for those of you guys that come, that came after, that understand what I'm talking about. I'm going to continue to do what God tells me to do. I'm going to continue to share my story and to share the knowledge and the wisdom that I know about these things to help as many people as possible because that's what God put me here for. And I want you guys to understand that I love you and that you are not alone and that our voices are going to be heard, okay? It may not be tomorrow. It may not be next week, but our voices are going to be heard. And as long as I'm here and God is using me, I'm going to make sure that the awareness is put out there. I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.